Hi everyone, I'm Kate, I blog at Whip Whip Woo and today I'm taking part in the TOTS 100 Ask Me Anything. Now I've been sent a series of questions and I promise I haven't looked at any of them, so here we go. Okay, number one, who would your dream date to travel with be? Um, See, my first thought is what hot man would I like to travel with, but I won't be um, that predictable. I'll tell you who I think I would like to travel with is Jo Brand. Um, I just really like her dry sense of humour and I've recently watched her on the Travel Man uh, series with Richard Iowadi. <laughs> can never say his name um, and I just think she'd be so much fun to um, explore new cities with. So number two, what track is the most likely to get you on the dance floor? I don't think I've been on a dance floor for probably about five years which is a bit sad isn't it? Um, <laughs> um, I would literally dance to anything as uh, Dexter will attest to um, because everything I do annoys him so I like to dance around him that really gets him going um, but there was one song um, back in the day when I did go to nightclubs um, that my best friend weirdly hated and I loved um, so it sticks in my mind that whenever it came on I would go and dance by myself and she would just um, stand at the bar staring at me in disgust and that was um, Insomnia by Faithless um, so whenever that comes on that just brings back lots of lovely memories question three um, who's your most embarrassing celebrity crush <sighs> I have quite a few. I think I wrote a blog post about um, five weird men I fancy. Um, I remember Chris Moyles being in that list. Oh, Bradley Walsh. <laughs> I think he's God, he's quite hot. It's, I think it's just funny men. Ricky Gervais I fancy. Um, yeah, I think it's just uh, most men, if they're funny, I tend to fancy them. It's really embarrassing. Prosecco, carver or champagne? Um, definitely a Prosecco budget, but I think I've got so you, I've got so used to it. I sound like an alcoholic. Whenever I buy something like that, it would be Prosecco over champagne. So that's what I prefer, unless someone else is buying it for me. <laughs> What's your top vlogging tip? Um, I think my number one tip would probably be don't try and be like anybody else. Um, you know, there are loads of big YouTubers out there. Try and be original. Just let your personality shine. Where's the... Oh my God. Where's the strangest place you've thrown up? Don't think I've thrown up. Um, what a lovely conversation. God, for the longest time. I remember the era where you would drink until you threw up. Those were the days. So it's probably, God, about 20 odd years since I did that. Oh, I've, I've done behind, car, <laughs> behind cars, alleyways, the usual. Nowhere particularly strange. God. <laughs> um, what's your most embarrassing parenting moment? Um, I've been a parent for 21 years now. I know I don't look old enough, trust me, I know. Um, so I've probably put any embarrassing moments to, way to the back of my mind. Um, and my kids didn't really do anything, anything out of the ordinary embarrassing. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Sorry, that's a boring one. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching and hopefully see you soon. Bye.